Hey there, welcome to the second installment of Crash the Robot, the video walkthrough, levels 21 through 40. My name is Mike, I'm here with Sid. Say hi, Sid. Hi, everybody. All right, so we are playing through levels 21 through 40. Uh, basically the same uh, principles, so let's get with it. Level 21 here. Goodbye, Mr. Robot. We're gonna start with a little stacking game here. We're gonna build a special bomb chain. Or something. Flipping switches. Flipping robot switches. There you go. It's always a happy day when robot dies. This is sort of a game about, uh... Oh, there's two robots here. Two robots? This is not an easy level. You you may uh, have to play with that bouncy bit then. Think of it. It's all about getting that uh, little bouncy thing right in the right spot. Oh, oh, this one features my favorite, the, uh, the robot hammers. Mighty robot hammers. So, uh, 32 on that weight. What do we decide that? 32 ounces? 32 trams? I like to think of it as 32 metric tons. Uh-huh. Something, something suitably heavy. Yeah, like something that. that would make a robot explode, right? And squeal in pain, I think. They're high-pitched robot voices. Kind of sounds like an air horn. Like a, like, um... Like a small child who's been spoiled by his parents. Ew, I don't like being smashed. Oh, Sid, you kind of sounded like my friend Irene for yeah, a second. Well, you know, if, if robots happen to sound like old English women, that's not my fault. Is it? <laughs> Depends Just, on how they're programmed. But yeah, yeah, well, I, you know, I think it's inherent in being a robot is that you just, uh, you lack the ability to intimidate human beings. Mm -hmm. Pathetic. Especially this guy. Yeah, you know, his his Swedish Viking horns don't particularly impress me. It's it's a good look, but he's not living up to the uh, image he's projecting. Yes. He should he should be wearing tattered clothes and he should have like a, like a hobo's beard, uh, I think. And a, and a big gut. Maybe like a, a big Bone of seal meat that he chomps on, and and, and and stink lines. Sure. Yeah. Another little known fact: um, robots are not particularly concerned with their own body odor. <laughs> uh, they don't they don't bathe regularly, and, and when they do, they're not really clear on you know what it is they're trying to do. They just uh -huh. sort of jam soap in those little cracks. Uh huh. It's um it, it's sad. I, I mean, it would be sad if I felt any sympathy for robots. Actually, I think it's hilarious. Uh -huh. But robot hygiene, not their, but not their strong. No, I, you know, I mean, they understand like, well, no, I take that back. They don't understand much of it. Uh, and the idea that like, you know, they smell bad. Yes, there we go. Oh, uh, that was a good one. Oh, it's the robot hammer delivering the robot death blow. The tenderizer. Yes. The peacemaker. Give him a, the persuader. Pers there you go. Yeah. Oh, here's the tricky one. You gotta get the, you know, there's that, you got that kill switch on the back of the neck. Because the robot can't reach it himself. But if you're ever, if you're ever in a, you know, an argument with a robot, he's getting uh, starting to smell like a smarty pants. Mm -hmm. Tell him he smells bad. First of all, yes. First, point out that, like, you know, you, you can't even take a bath, Mr. Robot. I've seen you try. And then uh, hit the kill switch. And uh, short of that, you can take him to this Swedish factory where robots destroy themselves, get him a nice uh, Viking helmet, and cut him loose. Maybe grab a saw blade and you know, some numbered bombs. Put, oh. them, put them here and there. The numbered bombs frustrate me. I'm bad with numbers. I, I can never remember what comes after three. <laughs> I mean, I've seen that symbol before, but it doesn't mean anything to me. Uh -huh. There's only one robot at a time. I can count the robot. No. Ooh. That, it looked like it hurt. 
I would like to think it would have hurt more with hammers. Rather than those pizza cutters. Well, the pizza cutters are good, but, um, I don't know. Here's a tricky one. Lots of physics here. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. Ooh, uh, it's like, it's like shooting baskets. Except there's a robot pounding himself with a hammer. Yeah, what? There he He hit himself with the hammer before he electrocuted himself. Sure, yes. Hmm. Well, there's more than one way to kill a robot. I'm, I'm learning so much about physics playing this game. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. A applied science. Science in the... Oh. Let's see that hammer do something. Oh. Unnecessary. We don't even need the hammer. The hammer just hits the switch. Yeah? Something. I... We don't really know. I've seen the robot kill himself without using everything in the room. So really, I don't know. Okay, trick shot. Good. Excellent. Double ammo. The intended effect is what you get when you line up your bone robots properly. This level I found infuriating. This is a tricky one. It's a trick. You've got to get that magnet just right. Sucking up those boxes. Just, just so there's enough room for that thing to roll and flip the switch so the elevator raises the bomb, so the bomb Gotta goes get off. get that last switch. Now at last. Thank you. Yes, he's using his pocket foot robot destroy drill. Whatever that is. Every robot has one. They have a weak spot on their foot. Uh, an Achilles heel, that's important. Oh, symmetry. Sweet, sweet symmetry. Isn't this a nice level? It's pretty. Look at that. Guys, it's like watching basketball. And here comes the saw blade. That's right. right. Hit yourself on the head before the saw blade arrives. Should have used the drill. Yep. 32 metric tons. Exactly the amount of raw steel you need for the robot. Robot crushing. I think he swears because he's impatient to die. Well, I, what's the deal? You think he wants to or does not want to be crashed? Well, I think he recognizes it's his natural course in existence. Robots are built to be destroyed. Uh -huh. And, you know. What about... Maybe he's in, impatient. Oh, he carries a little bomb in his pocket. That's cute. Just in case. Just in case. How does he have all these cool things in his pockets if the, the pants look so tight? Uh, he's got yeah, those tight it, gold pants on, but he's got a drill. Well, that's where they took the brains out. There they you go. Know, like, bravery and good taste. That's all these features that robots don't have. It takes up a lot of room. It does. Well, it does for humans. Robots takes up no room at all. You can't do it. I find voices. Now here's a tricky one. Yeah, this, this one uh, defeated me for a long time. I have to say, Mike, your solution is more elegant than it's all about balance. Yeah. <clears throat> For me, it was more of a lack of balance. I had to treat the robot like a drunken sailor and get him to simply tip himself into the hole. Uh huh. Oh, oh, oh! And he hits the switches on the way down, and then all the bombs crashed. Happy times. All right, here it is. Level forty. Very exciting. The last of the ordinary levels. Oh, sweet. Skill shot. Looks like LeBron James. Look at that. Yeah, the Harlem Goku. Looks 
swinging in the air. And there oh. you have it. Farewell, robot. All right, that was the levels 20 and 40. We're going to come back and do the bonus levels when we figure them out. Later. Thank you.